we're uh, doing this year is focusing on uh, visionaries and people who have uh, big ideas for the year ahead. So uh, we're asking uh, everyone on the list if you could uh, tell us what is your big idea for 2022? Yeah, for 2022, um, what I see as um, you know, kind of the, the big idea and, and the vision for the year is really the merging of restaurants on-premise and off-premise, essentially digital experiences. Um, you know, previously, these have been two separate experiences with different technologies for each. And, you know, even, you know, obviously everything changed with the pandemic, but before then, you know, in 2018, about like 30, 40% of restaurants revenue was off premise. And today that's more like 60 to 70%. And even at Bento Box, we saw um, like a 55% year over year increase in online ordering and revenue outside of restaurants direct channels. And so it's really important to help restaurants connect these dots and deliver a consistent experience to diners. Um, and it's not reserved for just the top tier restaurants anymore. And um, we all know that digital adoption and transformation what has been a hot topic over the past year. But this is what I'm thinking about is, is much beyond just adoption and much beyond, you know, the, the topic of fragmentation um, and connecting systems. It's really thinking about how do restaurants really create truly one um, experience for diners and how does that experience translate between the on-premise and off-premise? How do restaurants like bridge that gap? And one way to think about it is, you know, really this concept of a regular at a restaurant. And, you know, you think about, you know, when someone walks in the door and they recognize your face or, you know, if it's if it's off premise or through digital channels, maybe they're um, engaging in some sort of like loyalty program through online ordering. Um, but if you think about these two different experiences coming together and the deeper relationship that's possible between restaurants and diners um, when, you know, a restaurant knows if you are a regular um, off premise customer, and then you also walk in the door. Um, and I think that could be really powerful and really helps restaurant achieve what they are looking to deliver in terms of a very hospitable experience. And it's an evolution that's already happened um, in other channels, like for example, retail. Um, and I think um, it's a really exciting time for restaurants um, to bring those two different experiences together to serve their diners better. And that's what I'm really excited about. Well, terrific. Uh, yeah, it sounds like uh, uh, pretty lofty uh, goals for the year ahead and, and a pretty uh, exciting vision for the industry. But uh, yeah, well, uh, what do you see as the, uh, the biggest challenges and um, to, I guess, executing your vision and, and how will you overcome those challenges? Yeah, I mean, I, I use the, I think of the word challenge and opportunity, you know, interchangeably. Um, so I get really excited about challenges. Um, I think that there's two major challenges. I think that we, um, the industry continues to face uncertainty and continues to evolve. Um, and then the second, you know, um, a challenge for us, but a really great thing for restaurants is that restaurants really have choices now when it comes to technology. And while it's competitive for our business, I think it's great for the industry because it motivates us as technology partners to do better, to price competitively, to create you know, truly valuable solutions. And um, when I think about how Bento Box will approach these, these challenges, um, it's really, it goes back to just a relentless focus on our customer, which is the restaurant. And I've always been really inspired by how restaurants serve their diners. And I remember in the very early days of our business, uh, a Bento Box customer of restaurants saying um, to us that Bento Box treats us the way that we treat our guests. And that's something that, you know, I always want to make sure that we don't lose sight of and we lose, uh, that we lean into um, when we think about how to overcome challenges, just really being focused on solving problems for restaurants and creating value. Um, I think uh, just being very focused on that versus getting distracted by potentially competition or other you know, things that may pop up along the way in our way, um, we, can, we can just overcome these. Terrific. All right. And what are the specific restaurant uh, technologies that you see gaining traction in the year ahead? 
Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's so much happening right now. It, the ones that I'm I'm really excited about is first, like really creative solutions to first party data and helping restaurants um, manage that data. And, you know, restaurant owners didn't start um, restaurants to become technologists. So, you know, uh, organizing data and acting on data is not the reason that they got into their business. And so I think while as opportunities open up with different, you know, legislation when it comes to marketplaces um, and what they're doing with diner data and giving restaurants access to that, and also just the technologies um, that are more um, in the realm of first party that are offering um, this data to restaurants, um, helping restaurants analyze that and synthesize it and, and make it actionable and so that they can become smart marketers and smart technologists, but in a completely automated way where they can really focus on you know, what they do best, which is running their restaurant creating great food, creating great experiences. Um, so that's one technology. And then the other one, just you know, focusing a little bit more on back of house is um, technologies that um, create automation to solve staffing issues. Obviously, you know, staffing um, has been a huge, uh, huge issue over the past year. Um, even the most recent job reports are showing that the restaurant industry has plateaued at a million less workers than pre-pandemic levels. So this is going to continue to be an issue. And um, I think helping restaurants have technology to handle more tasks, especially tedious, tedious ones like keying in orders in just an automated way, um, uh, avoiding errors. Um, will uh, allow restaurants to operate with fewer, but happier and higher paid employees. Um, so I think that technology will be really crucial in 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard uh, a lot of restaurants talking about both those areas, gaining more control over their data and uh, also um, looking for technology as a, uh, a way to help them cope with the labor crisis. So, so uh, yeah, very important issues for the industry going forward. Yep. But uh, how do you see Bento Box itself evolving in 2022? Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a big year for us. You know, um, Bento Box is now part of the Pfizer family, which includes Clover POS um, as well. And um, our evolution certainly takes into consideration the resources that we have access to now as part of this um, larger company. Um, I think we can help restaurants solve the fragmentation that it exists in technology and, and really goes back to our big, or my big idea and vision for uh, 2022. You know, historically we've focused on solving the digital experience for restaurants, but um, I'm really looking forward to broadening that to deliver a blended, you know, off-premise, on-premise, digital, in-person diner experience across channels that really helps drive deeper engagement for restaurants and diners. You know, we're going from like 14,000 restaurant locations to being part of an organization that can reach um, over 300,000 restaurant locations. And so just being in a, in a position to be able to reach that many restaurants and um, provide them with technology to um, help them overcome the challenges they face today is going to be um, a big part of how Bento Box evolves and, and scales in this coming year. Well, terrific. It sounds like uh, you've got uh, a lot on your plate, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, well, good luck. And it was it was great speaking with you, Crystal.